Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Risk Run 2 Survivors of the Void. Of course, we are playing modded once again. We're going to be jumping in and I've been requested to play as multi and I don't play as multi all that often. So I am more than obliged. My loadout, I'm not actually sure. I, I'm, I do kind of like power mode. Power mode is quite fun. Um, but being able to hot swap between rebar launchers is also really fun. We're also going to go with the alternate modded skill, the Nano Swarm Fire Beacon, that deals 100% damage and inflicts tracking on impact after a delay releases Nano Swarm that deal damage and heal. Kind of interesting. And of course, we're going to be going same as last time with Monsoon and Deluvium. I prefer to play that way. It is quite dangerous, but I really like it. <laughs> uh, we've also got some other stuff here. Lock a random, activate my passive. Uh, imps will invade. Character runs faster at low HP. Got some interesting stuff there. Anyway, so let's just leave it as is. And I think we're going to go with this. I, I quite like this setup. Uh, with the with the sort of super rebar launcher. I also do want to maybe do a run at some point where we do the, the double saw blades. That's also a fun multi setup. I find multi... Oh, also, invisible chest right off the bat. Uh, I find multi to be a character that I somewhat get on with uh but yeah essentially what we can do is is we can do that to fire rebar a bit quicker and if you manage to get yourself a um a attack speed up it becomes quite crazy you're able to fire the rebars pretty quick because if you watch normally when you fire a rebar you've got to go like that and charge it all the way up but if you do this you can fire them very quickly <laughs> it's i don't really know if it's considered a bug because, like, I kind of, I, personally, I feel like it is a bug. But at the same time, it's been in the game for a long while now. And the devs have never changed it. So, I it makes me think that maybe it's not. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it's really good. It, it allows you to put off some really crazy damage. And, like I said, all you really need is one attack speed up. And it becomes very good. So, we're looking for a soldier syringe if we can get it. And, honestly, scanner ain't a bad get early on. Because there is a lot less backtracking when you have scanner it's not perfect like scanner's not a, an amazing item i will admit like later on it's gonna get far outweighed by a lot of other stuff Ooh, a goat hoof is very very nice though i like that a lot but yeah we do want to try and be pretty quick pretty speedy here of course uh just the longer we spend on the stage the the more chance we're gonna get wrecked by the boss i mean you saw in the last episode just how wrong things can go if you take too long early on. So we're going to try and avoid the, uh, a similar situation here. I'd like to kill you before I move on. Um, see what our multi-shop here has got for us. Um, nothing amazing. Let's take the random. And honestly, that's not terrible. It's not It's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, we'll grab that. Let's go over and get something offensive. Because this could be a soul syringe. Uh, damn it. That is still really good though. Extra damage up close is going to be nice. Would have been better if we were using the saw blitz. I'll tell you that for sure. There you go. That's that close up damage there. We've got another chest here. I'm going to do another scan. Wait. Um. Oh, I was like, where the hell did my active go? Then I I, I remembered you can hold two actives, two actives as this guy. So there is a chest down over that way. I always think you can hold two actives as this dude. It's a very nice ability of him. Like I said, I don't really play multi all that often. Mainly just because he kind of, he starts off quite slow. He's got his little, like, sort of speed up push ability. But that doesn't always cut it for me. But let's, let's quickly dive down here. Hello, sir. I'm going to try and get up close and personal here for that extra damage. There you go. And then we did have one chest over here. There it is. And for this one, we get Dissager Blast after an attack. Okay, that's decent. That's decent. I'm a fan. It's not a huge blast, but I imagine when it stacks, it gets pretty crazy. And I think we had two chests just over here as well, didn't we? Yes, we do. And we actually have a few more out that way too. I don't know if I'm going to bother going to get all of these. It's a little bit of a trek and we're already on three minutes. I usually say five minutes for the first stage. Drones are equipped with explosive weaponry. That sounds like a lot of fun. I will go for it. I've got two bustling funguses so far, so we're kind of looking for a scrapper because they are little to no use to me. Also, I love this character just because unlimited range. Unlimited range is, is very, very nice. Oh, a lot of Healy boys here. 
drop a nanobots down. The nanobots don't seem all, all too useful so far. I've not really noticed them being very good. But I'm not going to diss on them quite yet. Uh, I'm going to take the wire. Barb wire there. Not bad. And then let's just let's just get going. Because it's four minutes so far. And our boss is probably going to take longer than a minute. So let's not dilly-dally. I would like to grab some drones when we can. But I'm not going to backtrack for them. Or at least not too much. I will uh, do another quick scan and see if there's any nearby. There's apparently one down there. I know that that one over there is a turret. So... Yeah, that one's also a turret. Okay, they're all turrets, uh, by the looks of it, which I don't think would adopt the effects of the uh, explosive weaponry there. Okay, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with this boss. The The only thing that really sort of sets me on edge a little bit here... Ooh, that, that's very nice. Um... The only thing that sets me on edge a little bit here... Also, by the way, I'm, I swear that item was an item I already had unlocked. So maybe some new items got some new unlocks. That would be my first guess. Yeah, my only my only major worry really is that attack that this guy does where um, he does that massive blast when he gets to low HP. Because I don't really know where I'd hide. And at the minute, I don't really have an awful lot of healing either, which is concerning. I have bustling fungus, but I honestly wouldn't say that's a, a great tactic right now. I'll try it, actually. Yeah, I didn't really end up getting much use out of that then, did I? The thing is as well, the longer we leave this guy without shooting him, the more he heals, so we kind of need to be constantly on it. At the same time though, I'm, I'm, I'm very much trying to make sure I don't get destroyed by all of the various enemies. Fully charge a teleport without killing the boss or dying, yeah, that's another new unlock. There is most certainly some, um, some new unlock conditions for one of the mods that I'm using. I think that's mystic items maybe? If I, if I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure. I think he's going to get one more blast in, but we should be able to kill him before. Yeah, nice. And we did indeed get a teleporter over this way. Uh, drop random buffs on using skills. Seems reasonably useful. I think that's new as well. Yeah, a lot of updates since I last played, so... We could see quite a lot of interesting stuff on this run. And I hope we do. We'll end up coming down here with a good amount of money, so we should be able to buy a few things here. And we'll see what we might want. Uh, we do have the most beautiful item in the entire game here. Very much love that. I'll also go for a free reroll and see if I can get another one. Unfortunately not. Um, we have what seems to be a map of some kind here. I guess I'll take that. Uh, each stage contains a treasure spot where buried legendaries that takes time to dig up. Interesting. And we've got 64 left, so let's just take some crit. And I think we'll be out of here. That's an interesting legendary. I've not seen this one before. I don't really know how it works. Or at least I don't remember seeing it before. I very much, I very well might have, but I most certainly don't remember it. But yes, uh, Gesture of the Drowned here is going to be super, super useful. Um, essentially, it's going to auto-activate our active item and lower the cooldown significantly. Which, for our current active, is actually very, very positive. So I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, it's automatically just given us everything on the entire map there. Um... Okay, so there's a circle here. Now, that's new. So I'm going to imagine that's something to do with that legendary I just got. This this dig up spot. Ah, there, there's literally an X on it. Okay. So we might we might end up sitting here for a little while. Because it seems to progress relatively slowly. But, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. I don't know if it's going to dig up another legendary. Or if it's going to dig up a chest. Or if it's going to dig up something entirely different. It just said treasure. I'm going to imagine it's a legendary. It's a red item, but I'm not actually sure. But unfortunately, we are kind of playing it slow this stage. It's actually charging a lot quicker than I thought. Um, we are playing it a little bit slow this stage because the enemies just aren't spawning up here right now. It's one thing that's rather annoying about Risk Rain. The spawn limits can be very weird, especially in the early stages. 69. Away. Might as well take a sip of my drink while I'm doing this. I've got a bottle of Lucasaid with me. I knew I was in for a long haul run, so I thought, do you know what? Let's settle in. Get some Lucasade. Give me the energy I need 
Right, so let's see what happens here then. So indeed it is, and we got ourselves chance to freeze enemies on hit. Pretty good. I like the fact that this sprite for that is literally just a gray cube. So I do wonder what the chances of us uh, freezing on hit is, because could end up being very, very good with the setup we've got right now. Good, good. We got another one of these. Chance of random buffs on using skills. I don't exactly know what these buffs entail, but happy to have them nonetheless. We do have this to trade in a lunar item, but unfortunately right now, I quite like my lunar item, so I will not be trading it. A little bit of extra maximum HP, not so amazing. There's the freeze. That that seems like it could be super useful. What the hell's that up there? Oh, is that the uh, the portal thing? How the hell did you get up there? Nice. Another chest here. That's beautiful. I really like that. Another barbed wire there. That's good. Hopefully we can get something to help with our skill cooldown so we can move around a little quicker. Or just in general get some extra movement speed would be nice. Hey, we know we love 57 Leaf Clover. Awesome. These enemies are a little bit tricky. Now, I, I did notice there that I actually triggered the permafrost item there with my aura that I've got around me. That aura that I've got going on that's uh, pulsating when I fire seemed to permafrost that enemy, which is intriguing because I wouldn't have expected that. Okay. I'll also take healing items because this difficulty gets pretty crazy, so... I don't know how that's a healing item, but do you know what? I'm not going to complain. Maybe that, that can just appear in any chest. We're getting a lot of barbed wire. Hurt nearby enemies um, is pretty good, honestly. Um, if we can get up close and personal. But it's just kind of funny how, like, if this was a run with the, uh, the saw blades, we'd be doing so much better right now. Just because we have so many things that work with the saw blades. Like, we don't have any crowbars or anything. But we do have a lot of saw blade uh, friendly things here. I think we got a few chests over here. Still no attack speed, though. We need, like, one one decent attack speed up. It'd be very beneficial to us. Is that an equipment drone there? Yes, it is. I'm not really bothered about that for now. Okay, there's nothing else over here. Hello, sir. Try and use that. I still... Yeah, I still haven't really noticed this being super useful for us, but... I'm going to accept... Like, I, cause I, it's just because I can't see these... Supposed nanobots it's meant to be spawning. Use bustling fungus a little bit here. Crowbar, that's a beautiful pickup. Crowbar's a very, very nice pickup for us here. Tri tip's also very good. 300 damage on the first hit here. Got a scan going on here. Yeah, another one of these here. They really want my lunar items, don't they? Well, no thank you. There's another one. What the hell's going on? Hey, that's not useful right now, but couldn't have been pretty good. I'm going to just wait here and uh, get some healing going on. Oh, okay, I'm seeing the buffs now at the, at the left there. Good, let's go and do our uh, teleporter event. Oh, shit. I completely missed that, didn't I? I did see there was a drone over this way. I might go and grab that real quick if it's close. I thought it was over this way somewhere. Ah, no, it's it's that's the equipment drone that we saw before, I think. I'm not going to bother messing around with that. Okay. Let's start this bad boy up. I still don't think we're super prepared for the bosses. We got another Wandering Vagrant, though. Not so bad. Especially considering the massive amounts of... Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to take a look at these new unlocks, because there is a lot of items I probably don't have unlocked now. I'm unlocking a few of them randomly by accident, but there's probably going to be quite a few that I don't unlock randomly by accident. 
Oh god, this is a pretty bad situation for me here. I might die. Do you know what? Get me the F out of here. Not you. Oh dude, I am so I'm so burned right now. I'm trying to bustling fungus to heal as much as I can before I move. But man, this is as, as you can see as well, the, the wandering vagrant has fully healed. <laughs> dude, not another one of you. You're already a big enough of a problem as it is. What the hell's this? Oh, we got an item, apparently. I don't know where we got that from. 56 leaf clover, maybe? Oh, dude, this is... This is honestly awful. I can't even get near the boss right now. Every time I get, like, settled in somewhere, something more spawns. I need to heal up. And now the Vagrant's over here too, and a bunch of enemies have spawned over here too. I don't even know how I'm meant to kill these guys. I'm just focusing on these fellas, because these are a huge problem. Okay, just, just, just calm it, calm it, calm it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Right. Chill out a little bit now. Like, not fully, because we've still got a ton of enemies on us. But as I said, somewhat. That flask was actually super, super at the power elixir there. Super, super clutch. Man. Right, now she's at a distance. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. And they're all ice based too. Fuck you. Look at my health right now. What am I meant to do? My goodness, this is so tricky. Look, it's healing. I can't even shoot it. Where are you? No, no healing for you. Gotta keep on it with this. But more enemies keep spawning, and they're all champions. Fuck off. Oh, I fell off the map. Are you kidding me? I'm so dead. Oh my lord, this has been very tough on me, but I love this, like, I think this game is so much better when it's like this, like, I had to try so hard to stay alive then, and I managed it, and it made me feel good. <laughs> right, so here we go, I think it's great, it's, a, it's, it's such a fun way to play the game. Also, Genesis Loop, gen genuinely a very good item for us. When we get to low health, we'll do that big power blast. New equipment. Ooh, nice. We could get the uh, the Wildwood thing, which would be super useful because it's health regen, which we pretty desperately need right now. Need to get to 430 something, I think it was. Okay. 
This should get us there. Still no fire rate increases though, sadly. Okay, so we want to switch mode, grab you, as you. There you go. And of course, it's only going to stick with us when we're in the right mode, but healing is healing. I ain't going to fret. Healing is healing. Also, we need to look for our uh, dig site. We need to look for uh, where our next legendary is on this stage. Because it's actually a pretty small area. We got lucky last time that it was so close to us, but... This time might be different. It might not be anywhere near us this time. We need to kind of go on a bit of a search. That opal is very useful. I like that a lot. Two forty-seven. Yep. Yeah. That is a chance to launch a mortar. Don't know how useful that is, but it sounds good. Is that another razor wire there. Oh, okay. The mortars are pretty good. I can get behind that. Don't know how often that's going to be, but it seems reasonably often. Honestly, just more barbed wire. I don't even know how good barbed wire is for us right now, but it's one of those things where it's like, I have so many of them already that I feel that having more is going to be pretty good. Oh shit, I didn't even see you. Oh, wait, this is our X Max the spot, I just realised. Nice. You gotta go before you become a problem. Ooh, 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 we got a fire rate boost then. I don't know what, I think that was from our, like, after using skills thing. Okay, Mimic is good. Anchor, is, isn't it Anchor, like, when we stand still we get a bonus to stats or something? Yes, I'll give give me a uke. Give me a uke. Nice. I can hear some floaters below me. Yes, uke is so good for us right now. 62%. Oh, we got one either side of us right now. So this guy's frozen, so that helps. The freeze is really nice. I'm liking the freeze a lot. It, likes, it allows us to get quicker kills as well if it uh, procs at the right time. And here we go. This time we get increased health and armor depending on your current gold. Now that seems interesting. Get that with a roll of pennies. That could be quite the synergy. I'm just going to jump straight down here. I'll make it. Okay. Still no scrapper, unfortunately. But then again, Bustling Fungus has been a lot better than I was expecting it to be. What green items have we got right now? Do you know what? We've got some good green items. I was going to trade some of them for that uh, old guillotine printer there, but I actually think I'm pretty happy with what I've got going on for the most part. Oh, just looks pretty nice here. Oopsie. I used the wrong skill there. Okay, let's make our way over here. There's something up here. Them out. Ah, this is what it is. I kind of want this anyway, so I'm pretty happy with that. Allows us to get some more items. Yeah, you can bugger off and all. I don't know why I didn't knock him out the air then. I thought, thought that's what freezing did. Oh, damn. We just, like, face tanked that attack there. I think that's, like, our opal mixed with our, like, increased armor on gold thing. ATG missile launch is pretty nice here, too. Hmm. 
Not great, but it was the first green I saw. I thought I'd better try and get at least one green out of that. Nice damage there. Seems that um, our barbed wire thing can proc... Not the barbed wire, just, not the green one we just picked up, but the other barbed wire we have, which for some reason there's two now. Uh, it seems like that can proc, like, chains, because it, it, it procs ukulele then, and A2G missile launcher, which is intriguing. Certainly intriguing. Ooh, tougher times, it's nice full. No corrupted items yet, though, surprisingly. Okay, I think we're pretty much done on the stage. That is some big baddies right there, though. Just want to get rid of the fire one before we deal with the boss. There you go. He even gave us an item. And we got an elixir from someone else as well. Beautiful. And then teleport is just over here, right? Yep. I see you. I think this time we can deal with you, though. We've got a lot of health, a lot of money. We are good to go. Right. Depending on the boss, we should be fine. I, won't, I couldn't imagine it'd be something horrible. Imp Overlord. Imp Overlord's probably one of the worst ones we could get, I'll, I'll honestly admit. Like, I'm not very good at Imp Overlord. Did that just drop an item off of the map? I think I've got a mod that makes it so items that drop off the map get returned to you. So, yeah, as I was about to say, it should be somewhere. And it is somewhere. It's here. Well, Roller Pennies is uh, amazing for us, by the way. I, do you know, I think this legendary we got that increases our armor and health based on our money is making us nigh unkillable. Like, it's seemingly so. I don't know if that's, like, exactly what's happening, but, like, look at the amount of damage we're taking right now. <laughs> like, watch this. Nothing. <laughs> that did, like, literally nothing. For our troubles, we got another Razor Wire. Yeah, I think when we have this much money, we are very, very hard to kill. Which is quite nice. Beautiful. Easy going for us right now. Make sure to take the blue portal as well when the stage ends. Boom, look at that mortar. Perfect. Beautiful. Who is left? Just a few of you. And there you go. We even got a Luna coin from that last dude. Nice one. Through we go. Hopefully more Gesture of the Drowns. Hopefully some attack speed. We'll take a Legendary as well if we can, if we can afford it. I think we should be able to though. We've got really good money going into this. But there's our legendary. We've actually got two different choices of legendary here. Um, no more gesture of the drowns, unfortunately. What we got here? So resonance disc, Dio's best friend. There's the attack speed. Uh, I'm actually just going to load up on attack speed here. Um, ooh, actually, what's this? Let's see if I can buy that. That is something. Equipment has 30% chance to deal double the effect. Do you know what? For right now... What we've got currently, that's kind of trash. But if we can get some better equipment, that could be incredible. <laughs> I'm trying to think what would be really good with that. Like ATG Missile Launcher. That'd be pretty nuts. Stuff like that. Anything offensive, really, is going to be pretty nuts. Quite glad that I've got the scanner, though, for this stage. This stage I always get pretty lost on uh, on where to find chests. I think our legendary chest is here. Yeah, we found our legendary chest already. It's going to cost us 6,000. Which actually, as you can see now, our rebar has become so much more powerful because we have zero charger. Um, I might 
be able to to tank a bit of damage to get some free money. We'll see. How much are these guys going to give me? Not a lot. <laughs> I need someone that's going to put fire down or something. Okay, we got some bodies over there. So I'm going to buy some drones as well to get some explosive drone action going on. So I haven't had a chance to uh, utilize that yet. Because we do have a fiery boy down there, which he's a little horrible to, to be getting hit by. We also got a clear Dune Strider down there too. Beautiful. I'm pretty much just standing in it here because it's going to trigger all of our stuff from Razor Blade. From our uh, bad wire, sorry. And I don't, I genuinely don't think we can die. Like, I think this, uh, this legendary is, like, ridiculously overtuned. Because I've only got, like, 2,000 right now, um, in money. But I seemingly don't take any damage from large hits. Like, look how much, like, look how much my health, my maximum HP is going up right now. Like, my maximum HP is going up by so much. Like, that did, like, nothing to me. We're at 4,000 now. Of course, when we spend this money, things become a little more turbulent. But, while we have it, things are peachy. These guys are pretty good for getting us money. As you can see, I'm up to nine grand now. Right. It does seem to have an upper limit on it, though, because my maximum HP doesn't seem to have risen anymore. But even still, it seems like a ridiculously good item. So we'll grab our legendary. We also want to try and find our X Max the spot if we can. We got ourselves another permafrost. I can certainly get behind. Another permafrost should mean a lot higher chances for freezing. And the freezing effect has been pretty potent so far, so. Right, so let's look. For, I don't think our X Max the spot is going to be marked on the map at all for us, so we're going to have to actually physically look for it. It's like the first big chest we've seen all run, right? That's pretty good. Quick chance of 37% as well. Um, I've been liking this. I'm going to get a third stack of this. Okay, so we are looking for actives now, so I will take this. It's another Wildwood. No, thank you. Another green quality. Enemies drop extra cash. I mean, that's decent enough, I guess, but... Not really what we're looking for. Sort of weird chest there, I don't know what that is. We still haven't dealt with our clear Dune Strider over here. We shouldn't be too big of an issue. Honestly, I don't even want I don't even think I want to deal with him yet. He's like he's here. But I don't have so many big chests now, my my god. Spare wiring, nice. Now we really need to buy some drones. I'll buy a turret for now. It's a substitute. Another active. Deafens enemies in front of you. I'm going to take that and see what happens. Okay, it knocked me back quite some distance. Goat Hoof is good. Another turret there. We're not getting any actual drones. We're just getting turrets. Tears is pretty nice. I can hear you doing your thing over there, dude. I know you're... Uh, trying to get fresh, but I don't much care. We don't have a lot of money at the minute, so we can die pretty quickly here. I think it's when we, once we get up into about the sort of three, four, five grand range, we start taking a lot less damage. You've healed up again, haven't you? 
do I look like I care about your attacks? No, I do not. I most certainly do not. Topaz brooch could be intriguing. Ooh, big big daddy drone. Big daddy drone is always quite fun. But also, actually, to be fair, big daddy drone with the with the drone upgrades we've got right now, I'm actually pretty intrigued. Him having like explosive shots and stuff, like could be pretty good. Let's 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 buy big daddy drone. Let's give him a give him a test run. Okay, we got that. No, it just dropped me off. And does anyone... Oop, that is that is some explosive shots you got going on there, sir. Nice one. Right. I think it was back up this way, right? I think I remember where the teleporter is now. My drone's going to have a very hard time following me up this way, but that's his problem. Yeah, it's just here, right? Yep, you got it. Right, another Vagrant. If we had Vagrant, like, pretty much every single time, we'd... apart from one floor, we've had it. God damn. Kind of crazy. So, I'm not entirely sure if we can survive one of them blasts. I'm gonna just get away just in case. Okay, my drone did actually get up here. You also might be noticing the severe lag right now, but that's, uh... You have to deal with that. That so-called is what it is. I'm not sure what the deafening effect is doing to the bosses, but I'll take it. Another Genesis loop. I don't know if that does more damage, more radius, or triggers at a lower health threshold. Uh, or higher health threshold, sorry. So I'm not sure which one of those it is, but either way, it's nice to have. my way through here. I've got a lot of on-hit effects right now that are stacking up quite nicely. This drone seems to be doing a mighty good job too. Not quite as good of a job as my, my character itself, but still. Right. Yeah, I quite like that. I don't know what it does, but I like it. In we go. We're getting the blue portal every time and it is helping us a lot. <laughs> a lot and a lot. Go for another reroll. Definitely not what we want. Afterburner? I don't know what Afterburner does with this guy. Ooh, Warhorn there. Definitely want at least one of those. I'm going to buy a few more spare drone parts. What the F is this? I don't know what this is. I might gamble. After standing still for one second, absorb incoming damage using a skill whilst moving releases a Nova. Hmm. Doesn't seem that good, but hey ho. We traded some power for it. I don't stand still all that often. I mean, I just don't really get why you'd make items that are stand still because they just don't work. Like, you don't stand still in this game, like, ever. It's completely against how you play this game. Maybe people make it just for NG, I guess. Perhaps. People just want NG to have fun too. I don't think we found our X Max the spot area on our last uh, on our last map, did we? I don't remember. I don't remember finding it. Oh hello. Okay. 
We've managed to garner quite a lot of money already. My drone buddy's doing well. Got a Luna coin there. Doesn't seem like almost any of the uh, items available are at this side here. Oh, we've also got a Void Seed this time around too. Haven't had one of those in a little while, so it's nice to see. Look at the amount of rings that are around us when we stand still. We've got like a, a three tier, like a solar system. Quite nice. Right, just about to get our legendary and then we are off on our way. Oh, we've got to try the mountain up there as well. Killing marked enemies permanently increases damage. Marked by what? Is, th is this item the thing that's going to mark them? I'm guessing so, right? What the hell is that? What the, the fuck is this? Drones and turrets get a chance to bleed in uh, heal. Okay. I'm liking this drone stuff we got going on right now. I want more drones. Desperately. First drone I see I'm after. There's one. Is it another turret? It better not be another turret, because they're not drones. They're turrets. It's an equipment drone. Unfortunately, not really what I'm looking for right now. There's apparently a drone up here. You got in my way, sir. Get out of my way. Right, up we go. I'm on the hunt for every drone I can possibly find. And it said there was one up here. It's another turret! Stop lying to me, game. Get new icons, please. There's another turret down here. I'm sure to buy them all so they're off the map. Another one of these. Good, good. This is an actual drone. Oh my god. I can pretty much roam around freely with the amount of uh, HP this is giving me. Pack a chest or shrine and make it free once per stage. Yes, please. That is a void creature if I've ever seen one. Well, hello, sir. Little Salamander. Dude, is my, is my turret just taking on this Psy Construct on its own? Absolute chat. Take the Will of the Wisp, why not? I'm seeing the marks now, the marked enemies. I will absorb your hot breath. You cannot best me. Okay. Let's go and clear out that void field. We've got a few void enemies chilling about around here. Honestly, another bustling. Can't complain. Sir? Mister? You'd like to get up, please? Damn, that active appears all the time. I do not want it. What do you not understand about that game? Oh! Excuse me. My sprint speed. Yeah, yeah. 
They're big in your yard and you've got a bunch of teeth and stuff. Don't I know it. We've got four void monsters remaining. Seems we've got a few over there. We are taking quite, quite a bit of damage in here. We've got one void monster remaining. And he's all the way up there. Good, good. I might die doing this, but I'm not here. No, do you know what? Do you know what? Stand still for a bit. Let's heal up. The healing is pretty crazy, so we might as well go for it. Right. And then let's go and kill that thing. Why is it all the way over here? God damn it. Oh, it's one of you as well. Joyous day. God damn, these things are strong. There you go. Ooh, do not walk into the void. Bad idea. Okay, cool. Right, now we can potentially get some void items. Encrusted key, not exactly the one I was looking for, but I'll take it. And... Armor crystal. Go. Right. Oh damn, that's a lot of Zy constructs, and they're mending as well, good. But you might be able to tell or see that the frame rate is uh, not great. It's likewise for me. They are quite far away. Oh damn, I am taking Muccio Mashio's amounts of damage right now. Wait, is, there a, is the void field reopened? What the hell's going on right now? What the fuck's the Umbra of Chef? What the... Who the fuck's this? What? I don't even know what that means. Did I actually lock Chef? <laughs> when and why did that happen? What the hell? I was so confused for a moment there. God damn, the frame rate is struggling. This is quite a nutty run we've got going on here. I'm trying to hold it together, but it's it's not particularly easy. Especially with all these for whom the bells toll everywhere. And also with this thing being mending, it just keeps fucking healing. And there's more than one of them. God damn it. I think I've just got to commit to killing this one. Hope for the best. Yeah, that one's dead. Sad that I can't just like freeze this one and knock it out the sky, that'd be hilarious. Boost pass. Okay, just open your mouth hole for me. At least every time he spawns one of the little turret things on top of him, he just boosts them immediately. How? Like, this guy's taking so many hits. Like, so many hits. It's, it's kind of insane. Okay, we've got a little bit more control from up here, but this is still very slow going. This guy has so much health. He just keeps healing, I think. Okay, he's almost dead now. We got him, we got him, we got him. Ayo! That was 
difficult, but we did it. We also might as well quickly go and bash on this bad boy. Because we have redonkulous amounts of money right now. Fuck me, this is, yeah, this has been tough. We've created quite quite the quite the ferocious build here, but goddamn. No legendary this time. Oh no, we do have a legendary. Um It's the same one as last time. Do you know what? I'm gonna buy a I'm gonna buy one of them. And then just so we get even more armor more quickly. Take a bit of that. Damn, son. Keep it going. I'm still hoping we get something offensive active-wise. We will eventually. We will eventually. Hello. Being in the air increases your damage. Hmm. Ooh. I think I think we have to. That's so much better for us. Oh hello, scavenger. How are you doing today? Don't destroy me. He's taking a lot of damage. We need more crowbars. He's gonna give us a lot of items though, once we kill him. I don't know what items he has at the minute. Go, drone, go! Kill him! You are dead, my sir. You suck me in! Stop! 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 I just wanna move! Stop! Chests now. Not sure what that one was. Ten supply weaker. Okay, so just gonna backlog. Okay, there's our dig site as well. Oh, ow! That guy hurt. That was. Not nice. I will try and stay in here for as long as I can, but honestly, looking kind of difficult right now. I'm not sure what that noise is, I'll be honest. There's some chain reaction stuff going on right now that I don't quite comprehend. Remember, it's sprint to heal now and not stand still. Yeah, there's some weird stuff going on with on hit effects. I don't really know. I don't know who to blame. So far though, it's not affecting us too badly, so not gonna complain. Is that a chest there for us? I've already opened that one. No, because we have the disappearing chests when we open them, so that can't be. And this time we get Deploy the option, an ultimate weapon from the Gradius Federation for each earned drone. Dude, we have like this uber cool drone build going on right now, and like no drones. Even our big boy drone, big daddy drone, has died. Give me more drones. I didn't even get that item. I was so focused on this drone here. So I think it's that little spark thing following him, maybe? Oh, look what we got. Twice the fun. I'm gonna actually get the item that I uh, bought over here. 
hell just happened then? Give item? What the, what the hell's this? You can have... I don't know, what can you have? You can have my Will of the Wisp. Never seen that before, I'm confused. Chest here. Is that like I'm gonna like go around exploding now or like I don't know. I don't know what to expect from that fella. So many 3D printers. The amount of knockback we have is insane. Give this guy my Warhorn. That's an equipment drone. Item drones seem interesting. Get two copies. Oh, this thing's amazing. This thing's genuinely amazing. Oh, hello, sir. I can beat you. There you go. Right. Not seeing any too many items drop from my 56 leaf clover yet, but. I'm gonna free two of those as well. Since this 3D print is like everywhere, we can abuse them all. Every like 40 seconds or so. I'm just trying to get next to the nearest one. Okay, this one, what's this got in it? Don't care. Now that is something I can get behind. I'll miss you being able to see where all the chests are, but at the same time, no, I won't. Good. The lag is unbearable right now. I'm not quite sure what's contributing to it, but... Game, it, game don't like me right now. Where did you come from, sir? It's just damage chains are insane. Is that a normal chest? We miss a normal chest. Okay. We need to find the teleporter pretty fast. I don't even know where it is on the stage. I've not really been looking for it, I'll be honest. Oh, here it is. Oh, there's another item that dropped from an elite by the looks of it. This might be where we die. This might very well be where we die. Although, Blaze Steel Beetle isn't so hard. Something's going crazy. One of the items we had is just nuts. I don't know which one it is. Oh my god, look at the frame rate. What's this debuff that every enemy seems to have? Is it something to do with that? There's, there's like a debuff that like every... It's, it's, it's sort of like... Cyan colored face that every enemy seems to have. I'm willing to bet that's part of what's going on with this lag right now. Right? I don't know, maybe not. Why are the mine? Why is there a mine on the floor? I don't know. 
Who, who even knows anymore? Who even knows? Get destroyed, people. Right, I'm surprised we survived that stage, so I'm going to guess the next one's going to be our last. We're just getting lucky with having just ridiculous health and armor right now. If we didn't have this ridiculous health and armor, it would not be going quite the same. We got... Ooh. That's unbelievably strong. No negative effects. Immune to debuffs. We've also got whatever this is. I don't, gen genuinely don't know. Fairly freezes all enemies during the teleporter event. Nice. Grab another one of them, why not? And off we go. The, uh, the, ben the, the raincoat there might, might have just made us unkillable. <laughs> like that, the raincoat is insane. <laughs> Things are already very laggy, and we've not been in the stage five seconds yet, so... I don't know, things could go awry quite quickly, we'll see. Things almost did go awry quite quickly there, holy hell. This, is, this one's been nuts, this has been a really nuts run. But the difficulty was a lot higher, so we had to kind of fight to get here. By the way, I do completely admit that being able to buy items from the uh, lunar area is very overpowered. But on the on these difficult runs, with with this level of difficulty, it feels kind of necessary, at least early game, to uh, to have that. Warhorn, why not? Band going on there. Look for another one. These poisons have been great too. Hello, sir. How are you? God, look at the damage we just did to that dude. More movement speed right now is, is very good. Two delicate watches, nice. Okay. I think we're just kind of at the point now where we just activate straight away. We can even get our legendary while we're doing the boss fight. That works for me. Only 18% in there. The main dude's dead. Secondary dude is pretty close to dead too. Okay, there you go. That's that. That's that done. We're only 37% on this. I see ya. Is that a new elite? Is that a different elite? I don't know. That's not something I recognise. Might be modded. A lot of the time, I don't know. <laughs> if something's modded, I have no way of knowing really. We need death mark. We get we put so many debuffs on enemies when we hit them. Death mark would work quite well. So I need to make a rock bottom item for this game where any bonuses you get don't decrease. Hey, some like scorpion's pretty good. These guys, the Malachi dudes, are the only ones I think can kill me right now. They can do a lot of damage very quickly. Alright, let's go to the next stage. This is a crazy run. A very crazy run indeed. Just the amount of money that we get so quickly as well. Oh, we got Void Crabby here. Oh god. Oh god. The lag. The lag. I can barely move. I can barely move. Yeah, I'm dead. 
Wait, no, I'm not. No, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, let's just quickly, before we end off this episode, I just want to quickly go over to my challenges and see the new unlocks in, in the logbook. It's in logbook and challenges. Um, Have all three at once. Uh, don't spend gold anywhere except multi-shops. Deal the killing blow to the final boss. Bring the escape pod to the damn fruity jungle. Survivor fall to low um to low health nine times in the same run. Uh, item set shareable healing. Interesting. Okay, we got some we got some cool new uh, achievements here. Item set damage on kill have three or more of six at once. Complete all four item set achievements. For the Tinker's Satchel. I like this. This is cool. Recycle a rare or boss item. Uh, close range have six or more of fifteen at once. I, I I'm I'm a big fan of these. Big fan of these. A lot to do, but yeah. Let's take a look. Look, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of a crazy run, and I'll see you guys in the next one.